Today's fragrance is Molecules O2 from Molecules Eccentric. It's a fragrance house that utilizes only one note in their fragrances. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the video. Hi there, it's Peter from Centrail. I'm glad that you're here. If it's your first time, welcome. On this channel, we talk about fragrances. So if you like fragrances or just want to smell nice, consider supporting the channel. And now let's get into our fragrance. Gesa Schön is a perfumer from Kassel, Germany. His company is Molecules Eccentric. He has worked with fragrance companies like Clive Christensen and uh, Balder Sarini. Yesterday or in the previous video, we talked about Molecule 01, which focuses on the note ISOE Super. And the note in that one, to my nose, smells like a woody musky scent with a hint of ambergris. Today's note is Molecules 02 which focuses on the note of Ambroxan. Ambroxan has the same chemical structure as Ambrox, which is derived from the natural source of ambergris. Ambergris is derived from the secretion of the sperm whale. Once the sperm whale gets rid of the chunk, it floats on the ocean surface for many, many years until it makes landfall. And then on landfall, it stays there on the beaches for a long time. It is very rare. Ambergris is also very expensive. Ambergris uh, is about $20,000 per pound. So it is a very expensive substance and that's why uh, the chemists are always eager to find new ways to come up with a new source that smells like ambergris. It's really a wonderful scent. To date, the best source of something that is like ambergris is ambroxan. Ambroxan is produced in a lab and it is derived from plants since the 1950s. One of the drawbacks of ambroxan is that you can only use about 13.5% in any fragrance solution. Any more than that and it would literally crystallize out of the fragrance solution. To my nose, Molecule O2 or ambroxan smells a lot like maybe rubbing alcohol. That's off the strip though. I sprayed some on my arm earlier and on my skin, it actually smells a lot more like real ambergris. Now, I don't know, that's probably because of the saltiness of the skin. And ambergris, to me, smells a little bit salty and oceanic. On the skin, smells quite different than it does off the strip. But once again, just like Molecule 01, if you have a friend or someone who doesn't really like fragrances, these Molecule fragrances are amazing. It's just one note and it's quite simple. If you like it musky or woody with a hint of ambergris, or if you like the straight ambergris or ambroxan smell, which is kind of oceanic, a little bit salty on the side of the mineral notes, it's really a lovely fragrance. This fragrance will also about hover, I don't know, maybe a foot from your body and it's always there. It's never too much and it'll stay for about eight plus hours. It really lasts a long time. I sprayed this on this morning about eight o'clock and I can still detect it and it is now almost evening time. You know, it's past six o'clock. Molecule O2 is definitely worth it. At this point, Molecule O2 will cost you about $130 for a 100 milliliter bottle. So if you're the fragrance lover who doesn't want to wear too many fragrances, just wants to keep it simple, this is definitely one for you. Ambroxan or Molecule O2 can be worn for any occasion. You can wear it to the gym, you can wear it to going out. It's really a light scent, nobody's going to be offended. It's a great fragrance if you like the smell of Ambroxan or Ambergris. It's one of my favorites out of this collection. This was a quick review of Molecule O2 from Eccentric Molecules. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button, I really appreciate it. This is Peter from Centrail. Until the next time, I want you to take good care of yourself, always smell nice, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, Centrail, out.